Hey guys, there's a quick, uh, show you a quick video of the hive stand that Doug and I have been choosing to, to utilize. It's just uh, four by fours, two by sixes, and some two by fours. And we just, you can see the two by fours there, primarily just using what we got. We had some extra two before, so we just used them to string across there, but not much to it. Got some 3 8 inch galvanized bolts there. Of course, pre-drilling all that and anchoring it to the four before's. It's working pretty good. I'd like to keep them about around 18 inches off the ground, and that <clears throat> That actually will help your back, like for me. So I got a messed up back, so got to try to minimize my bending and stuff like that. So that's the, about the best height for me there. And then also for predation, like skunks and different varmints like that, <clears throat> that's the perfect height. If they're trying to get into your hives, I mean, that just, it lays them wide open for a perfect target when they get up on their hind legs and bees just light that stomach up so uh, that's another consideration if you want to get into further pest management like a small hive beetle control you can do a whole host of things under the hive like uh, you know, I've heard some people using like a diatomaceous surface blend to keep their the eggs from hatching within the ground. Um, some people are using solid surfaces under their hives, but uh, there's really not a huge issue here with the soil hive beetle as of yet. And there's a couple things that we're doing to, to prevent that as it stands anyway. But if you've got a good strong colony for the most part, you don't want have to worry too much about the small hive beetle and uh, the same with the wax moths. If you got good strong colonies, they're able to keep them at bay for the most part. You just don't want to introduce too much product to them at one time, for instance, wax or honey. But that's just a quick look at the stand there. And guys, also on those bolts, man, if you, <laughs> If you price this stuff at Lowe's, you're gonna to have to take out like a home equity loan to buy daggone bolts. So this makes no sense to me. Why in the world you can order anything from Amazon, have it shipped to your house, cheaper than you can buy it at a local store. I should be going into Lowe's and paying considerably less for this stuff than what you can. But they, cho they chose it, so.